Welcome to our lecture online. Just to make sure that we know how to do this, we'll do one more example where we find the vertex, the axis of symmetry, and the y-intercept in order to graph the equation, which will be represented by parabola. So first we want to find the x-coordinate of the vertex, which is the same as the x or the equation representing the axis of symmetry. So x sub v, the x-coordinate of the vertex, is equal to minus b over 2a. Notice in this case that a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 6, and c is equal to 8. So in this case, minus b is going to be minus times a minus 6 divided by 2 times 1. Yeah, this should be a 6 here. It doesn't look like a 6. So this becomes 6 divided by 2, which is equal to 3. It means the x-coordinate of the vertex is equal to 3. Now let's find the y-coordinate. We can find the y-coordinate of the vertex by simply taking the x-value and plugging it back in the original equation. So that's going to be 3 squared minus 6 times 3 plus 8. So this is equal to 9 minus 18 plus 8. That's 17 minus 18, which is equal to minus 1. So this is the x-coordinate and the y-coordinate of the vertex, 3 and negative 1. So x equals 3, y equals negative 1. That's the point right here. That's the vertex, which is equal to 3 and negative 1. Now we take a look at the value for a, and we realize that a is positive, so we know that the parabola will open upward. Now we can find the place where the parabola will cross the y-axis, and that's where c is equal to 8, because this represents the y-intercept. So I guess I'll need to make my graph a little bit taller. So make it a little bit taller like this. So this is 6, 7, and 8. 6, 7, and 8. So when x equals 0, y equals 8, that is where it crosses the y-axis. So notice that if I go 3 units to the left, I, my y value is equal to 8, which means if I go 3 units to the right, 1, 2, 3, my value will be 8 again, because we should have perfect symmetry along the line y, not y, but x equals 3, so my axis of symmetry is right here. x equals 3 is the axis of symmetry. The parabola will then be an exact mirror image about that axis. Here's the vertex. It opens upward. It goes through 8 here, and it goes through 8 there. So we can connect the dots, like so, and back up to here. And there's a nice graph representing the equation x, y equals x squared minus 6x plus 8. And that is how it's done. You fell asleep. That's really good. <laughs> All right, let's quit for the night. That's good enough.